Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, coming to you with another redo. I did this gorgeous lacy effect pour and I was very, very happy with it. But I have all these juicy, lovely colours ready and I just, and because I'm in art lab mode, I thought, what about if I put some colour down the centre and leave my cells, which I have to bring you down because to look at this closely, because this, the laciness of it is very, very pretty. I'm very happy with it, but I am experimenting today, so I certainly don't mind uh, pushing on and going to the next step. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I will link the video to this original pour, which it will only have been the day or so ago. Um, and I'm going to now put some colour over this. Shamelessly, shamelessly putting colour on it, for sure. So this is the berry delicious that I make. This is really dark one. So it was made out of crimson, phalo blue, and a blob of black. It's like a really black cherry. So. I am going to do the embellishment just down here like this. Hopefully, hopefully it um, it's it's sort of mixing the techniques, isn't it, with that lovely laciness? And I just want to put my, as you all know, um, these colours are too bland for me, but that it turned out gorgeous and they really do sell well. But um, I'm just gonna put what I like to do on it is add some um, bright colour bling. That's what I'm gonna do. So exactly that. This is just crimson on its own. And then I'll put some of this orange that I've put a good dash of yellow in with it to give it a bit of brightness, just brighten it up. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day here today, but we have had obviously so much rain in Australia that it's been really crazy. Um, not so good for lots of people, but hopefully we're seeing the tail end of it. This is a metallic grey, silver. And to really throw a spanner in the work, this is cyan, C-Y-A-N, cyan blue. I have some of my uh, Amsterdam paint pre-mixed with just Floetrol, Australian Floetrol. So I'm going to put some of that in there too. And I'm going to use my big balloon. As you know, it's one of my... If anybody that follows me, you absolutely know that my balloon, working with a balloon is my one of my just favorite tools in my acrylic paint um, arsenal of tools should I say <laughs> okay just trying to get room here so I've got plenty of room to play with some balloon magic or get some balloon magic happening so I wanted to use quite a big balloon in this so probably would have even liked to have used a bigger balloon than that, but that's what I have here right now. So I will go with this one and um, clearing all my mess away. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let me start and centre maybe. It may need, oh yes. Oh wow, that's gorgeous too. I know I could be pressing these onto another canvas, but at the moment I'm not. I might do one other thing. It's just whiz along it with my 
heat wand, get rid of air bubbles. If you find your paint is all falling back in, you can make sure you wipe your balloon off each time you do. Go back in and press the same spot again and then wipe your balloon again. Or you can walk away from it and leave it for a good half an hour um, and that allows the paint to um, absorb into the canvas and um, dry off a little and gives you my, uh, maybe a crisper balloon kiss. Crispy kisses, nothing better. Crispy kisses. You can push the balloon quite firmly into your canvas and if it, your paint is the right consistency, it would certainly tolerate it well. So, there are areas here obviously that have not got the balloon kissing on just yet. So what I'll do is I will go the, over those areas with my smaller balloon. So just make sure you're wiping your balloon off in between each balloon kiss. I just find it works better that way. So just a small one that's gone down. So I'll try with this one. Beautiful. Again, just wipe it off. You can go over the same balloon kiss as long as you've wiped off the previous kiss. So yeah. We've been kissing, kissing, kissing. Wow. Love it, love it, love it. To me, that just adds a bit of me to the canvas. You know, those sort of colours on their own do sell well. Um, but, you know, I like to add what is my touch to my canvas. And you can do the same, whether you, you know, you find your own little thing that you like doing, then stay true to yourself. Don't listen to people that say, why do you always do that? Because it's your artwork, your rules, your way. That's why. So I'm going to leave those brighter bits standing out in that because I quite like that. And I absolutely love that now. That is definitely me done and me 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 i will put some dry photos on but look at that i love it probably the only thing i wish i'd done now is actually done a wobbly line instead of a straight line life is not all about straight lines is it <laughs> so that was my quick little embellishment to that and i am very happy that i did it absolutely love it it's so bright and cheery it's lifted it for me and that's what um, makes me feel happy. So until tomorrow, my dear friends, please take care. Take care of your neighbours and your friends or if you're feeling a little bit sad, lonely, please ring a friend or ring your family. Don't suffer in silence. Um, absolutely not. And yeah, do something creative or something that you love doing always gets you by. So until tomorrow, please join me. I am here every day for you. So if you haven't subscribed either, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. So seeing you guys again tomorrow. Bye for now.